Welcome to the Guilty Gear Strive character breakdown for Zato One, the shadow-wielding former leader of the Assassin's Guild. Zato is one of the most technical characters in Strive, and as such, it's critical to understand how his overall strategy is shaped by the game's inputs and some of the more advanced mechanics we'll discuss here. Zato is referred to as a puppet character, due to his ability to summon and control Eddie, the Forbidden Beast. Eddie has a gauge that depletes when he's active and attacking. The gauge refills as Eddie is off the screen, and using a manual unsummon results in a gauge refilling much quicker than if you let it run out. When Zato is hit while Eddie is active, or when Eddie has depleted, your Eddie gauge turns red and refills over time. While the Eddie gauge is red, the player is locked out of using Eddie. When Zato blocks an attack while Eddie is active, or when the player manually unsummons Eddie, your gauge turns white and refills very quickly. The player is also able to re-summon Eddie while the gauge is white. Zato and Eddie act independently of each other and can combine their tools to present situations that will make the opponent feel helpless and lost. Roman cancels, both defensively and offensively, do not affect Eddie, only Zato. However, the opponent's burst will hit Eddie if done close enough. The player can cancel one Eddie special into another, creating unique pressure sequences to overwhelm your opponent. Eddie can be unsummoned in the middle of his specials as well, preserving Eddie meter while still pressuring your opponent. Zato's best ground normal is his stand heavy slash. It reaches far and is relatively quick for its length. Use this to stuff grounded approach of your opponent as it rewards greatly on counter hit as well. Some other key normals for Zato are his crouching slash and far slash. Use these to begin your offensive pressure in the mid range. Forward Punch's upper body invulnerability provides an answer to fast, long-reaching normals from other characters, in addition to being Zato's primary anti-air. Flight Mode is unique to Zato and allows him to be quite unpredictable in the air. Couple his ability to descend at different times with his abundance of strong air normals and it makes for a formidable route. Jump Heavy Slash is a good button to punish characters below Zato and Jump Punch is a tremendous air-to-air -air strike. For cross-up attacks, you'll want to use Jump Slash. Jump Kick presents problems for opponents both in the air and on the ground. Jump Dust can be utilized as a pseudo air dash as well as a way to cross your opponent up when combined with an Eddie move. Summon Eddie gets your puppet onto the screen in a position where he can freely act. Performing the Summon Eddie motion while Eddie is already on the screen unsummons him. The following specials can be performed in a couple of ways and they all require access to Eddie. The special attacks are done either by manually inputting the Summon Eddie motion with a different button, which can be done while Eddie is either summoned or unsummoned, or upon the release of those same buttons with no motion required. This is referred to as Negative Edge. Negative Edge is an important concept to grasp when playing Zato. Due to the way Eddie's specials work, when you release a button, a special move with Eddie will activate if he is summoned. Because of this, it is important to learn to hold buttons for certain sequences. An exercise I recommend to get used to this concept is as follows. Summon Eddie, dash up to your training dummy, and do a crouch slash cancelled into the invite hell special. Make sure to hold both the slash and the heavy slash button from the invite hell, then move Eddie towards the opponent and release the slash button to create pressure with Eddie after the invite hell. A key part in playing Zato is learning to utilize buttons with Zato and Eddie while the other is trapped in a certain animation. If Zato is doing invite hell, then the player doesn't have to worry about getting an unwanted normal with Zato when they are trying to do something with Eddie. If Eddie is in the middle of his drill special, then moving forward or pressing buttons with Zato will not affect Eddie. Learning to protect Zato with Eddie and Eddie with Zato is the road to mastery with the character. Oppose is a massive stop sign for the opponent. While this bad boy is out, every normal and special attack within its radius will be absorbed by its armor, leaving Zato unharmed. Zato can be thrown while camping under a pose, and the player still has to be wary of overdrives as they will blow through both Master and Puppet. Pierce is an incredibly fast and long-reaching two-hit attack. Summoning with Pierce is a potent tool in Zato's arsenal because it gets Eddie on the screen quickly and with the forward advancing attack to stuff the opponent. That's a lot summons four drills that Eddie claps along to. The drills are great for locking down your opponent while Zato approaches or mixes them up. It is also a powerful tool in combating projectiles and denying space because of its multiple hits and range. Leap is a two-hit special where Eddie launches himself into the air and then bites down on anyone in his way. It's a tremendous anti-air tool and a staple in any big damage combo Zato has. In addition, when you unsummon Eddie during a blocked leap attack, it still leaves Zato at advantage against the opponent. Now we're going to move on to the Zato specials. 
Invite Hell is a projectile attack that spawns from the ground and is commonly referred to as drill. It takes up a lot of horizontal and vertical space for a substantial amount of time. Crouch Slash cancelled into Invite Hell is a signature strategy for any Zato player. It combos on counter hit and buys time to get any meter refilled on regular hit or block. Break the Law is a move where Zato sinks into the ground, becoming invincible once fully submerged. You can move left and right while in this state, but you cannot attack. However, combining this move with Eddie allows pressure to be applied even while Zato is safe underground. If the player manages to sandwich their opponent between Zato and Eddie, the player can move underneath the opponent with Break the Law while utilizing Pierce with Eddie to cross under the enemy and open them up. This is also an excellent move to cancel into when baiting bursts or YRCs as it will dodge those mechanics if done early enough. Damned Fang is a command grab with solid damage and decent advantage for Zato, but the true treasures of this move are its long duration and the fact that it automatically unsummons Eddie if he is active when the move lands. These two characteristics guarantee Eddie being accessible after after the throw is completed. Drunkard Shade is a move that reflects a lot of the non-overdrive projectiles in the game, but it also has a few more applications. The most important being that if Eddie is near Drunkard Shade, the move will cancel whatever Eddie is doing and shoot him a solid distance across the screen. The dash from Eddie has slight invulnerability during the startup, and it is the primary way to place Eddie behind the opponent for sandwich pressure. It is also quite active and rewards a hard knockdown on a counter hit. If the player delays cancelling their normals into this special, it could catch the enemy attacking recklessly and end up with a good situation for Zato. Amorphous is your go-to overdrive when it comes to damage. It is a bit of a slow startup and no invulnerability, so it isn't a great reversal by any means. If you do not need to refill your Eddie meter, Amorphous is the proper choice for breaking the wall. Sun Void is a super where Eddie forms into a sword and flies at the opponent. It has slight tracking and can also be done in the air. Though it has subpar damage, the important part about this overdrive is that it refills the Eddie meter upon activation. The player will often find themselves depleted of their Eddie meter during combos at the wall. Sun Void allows Zato to break the wall with a super and have Eddie ready to summon after the transition. Zato is one of the most unique characters across all fighting games and my personal favorite. Become the player to harness a resurrected assassin and a forbidden beast and register for the Guilty Gear Strive open series at compete.playstation.com or sign up in-game. PlayStation.